All right, let's jump in. I, you know, as I've talked about before, um, what this is is really an introduction. We're really just uh, talking about uh, an introduction. We're talking about the application um, in, in life and in business of the various virtues. If you really want to dig in on the virtues, if you really want to understand them fully and really have a chance to chew on them and really have a chance to really integrate them into your life, I strongly recommend a number of resources uh, by Dr. Elena Peacock. First, uh, OPA, Objectivism, the Philosophy of Ayn Rand. There's a whole sub-chapter on justice that is just brilliant. It's really, 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 really good. So I recommend that. Leonard also has a number of talks that cover justice um, that you can get at the Ayn Rand Institute uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he's got, of course, a whole series on moral virtue. And actually, lesson one is the virtue of justice. So um, uh, moral virtue is a course that Leonard Peikoff gave uh, where he covers each one of the virtues, and the first one is on justice, so you can find that. He also has lectures on egoism and justice. He also ha has one on judging, feeling, and not being moralistic. We'll talk about the importance of, um, of uh, moral judgment, the importance of, of, of having moral judgments, but not being moralistic. And, um, uh, you know, and, and that's, that is, an, I think, a really, really important course, particularly for the application of this uh, virtue, how to actually implement it in your life. So I highly recommend that. That's on the Ayn Rand Institute uh, YouTube channel. There's one on justice and objectivity. Uh, I think I said egoism and justice. Egoism and justice, what judges, judgment requires in judging, feeling, and not being moralistic and justice and objectivity, and of course, moral virtue, lesson number one, the virtue of justice by Lena Peikoff, and of course, you can, uh, uh, if, you, if, you, if you'd rather read, then OPA, Objectivism, the Philosophy of Ayn Rand, uh, is a, uh, an essential resource for anybody who wants to gain a deeper understanding of the philosophy of objectivism, and of course, the moral virtues, there's a section on each one of them in the section on virtues, so I highly recommend all of those as, uh, as resources if you really uh, want to de uh, dive de uh, deeper into this, and I think you should, because all the virtues are crucial, uh, and the virtue of justice is complicated, and it's complicated for a simple reason. What, what makes it complicated? Complicated to apply, not complicated. In, in theory, it's, it's not that complicated. Just hold one second. Let's get some better light here. Yeah, it was kind of yellow before. This is much better. Uh, it's, it's complicated because it deals with human beings. It can't, justice is about judging human beings. And uh, in, in many respects, and we can talk about why judging human beings is particularly difficult. It's particularly hard. It's particularly challenging. And yet, it's the most important thing you will judge. It's the most crucial thing to judge. Uh, you can receive the greatest pleasure, joy, happiness, well, you can't receive happiness, but pleasure and joy from other people. Um, and you can also get the worst kind of harm, damage from other people. So judging other people, knowing and, and evaluating people is good or bad, staying away from some and embracing others is, is crucial to life. And yet not easy. I, I mean, in some cases, easy, but not easy. And, and uh, we all make mistakes when it comes to judging people. People are complex. They, they can disguise their true nature. They can hide their true nature. And it's, uh, it, is, uh, it, is definitely, um, it is definitely difficult to do and therefore worthy of spending some thought and integrating this virtue into your whole approach to life, into your life, and into your approach to business. We'll talk about judgment in business. And particularly, one of the courses I really like is this Egoism and Justice, which is a course that Leonard Peikoff gave called Objectivism Through Induction, where he shows how you induce an idea like justice. What are the concretes in reality that make justice a necessary virtue, what 
concretes in reality make justice a principle of morality. So I highly recommend, uh, highly recommend uh, uh, generally the course Objectives and through induction, it's a different approach to typically the way objectivism is presented. Uh, but what Leonard is trying to do is show you, give you a glimpse into how Ayn Rand must have come up with these ideas. Because knowledge, new knowledge, is inductive knowledge, and is is gained through induction. And that's that's what he goes through. He goes through the inductive process of arriving at philosophical principles, which was really hard. He gave homework, and the homework was really hard. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want, to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this, and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>